Hi, here is what we did this week in art. We talked about how art is going to be once a week for 45 minutes. We talked about how art is going to be live on Zoom. If you miss the Zoom for whatever reason, you will find my videos of the weekly art lesson on Google Classroom, which I'm about to show you right now. So during art this week, we saw that the easiest way to find my Google links is to go to clever.com. You look for the Mona Lisa icon, which leads you to my Google Classroom and my virtual art room. My virtual art room looks just like this. You click the door to get in, and it has a lot of different links that I want you to take a look at. We've got books to read, we've got coloring pages we can do, we have games to play if you're bored and you wanna work on an art game. But what we clicked today and played around with was autodraw.com. Oh, here's my drawing that I was just working on. I'm gonna start a new one. So we tried to think of different things that we did this summer, maybe a summer memory, maybe a summer trip, maybe something we wish we got to do this summer, but we didn't get to do it. So something that I did a lot this summer, I'm getting the draw tool right here, I'm making it skinny, is I got to go on a lot of walks through the park this summer. So I'm going to draw some tall grass, maybe change the grass to some um, gravel with more bumpy lines. Maybe I don't like that I drew it so high up on the paper. I can take the select tool right over here and I can move my lines down. I can make them bigger. I can make them smaller. That's something we can't do with a paper and pencil. And I asked if you wanted to, you could draw yourself in the picture. You don't have to. It can be hard to draw yourself. Tip, please get a mouse if you can. It's a lot easier to draw with a mouse. If you're using a touch screen, you might find that it's kind of easy to draw on this website, or it might be kind of hard. Keep your people simple, like a stick figure. So this summer I went for a lot of walks to the park. So I'm going to wear shorts because it was pretty hot this summer. I'm going to make myself wear some shoes. And if you ooh, ooh, make a mistake on this website, there isn't an eraser. There is an undo button. Hit the undo button every time you draw something that you don't want. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not looking for a ton of details. Just give me a few. I'm gonna make my line really skinny so I can add my hair. Just like a stick figure. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw my face. This part is really tricky, so just try your best. Keep it simple. And this summer I went for a lot of walks in the park and there were a lot of different kinds of trees. Now trees can be really hard to draw. So if you want a little help, click on the sparkly a pencil and it's called the auto draw pencil and try to draw your shape your tree maybe it's sort of like a triangle tree and when you release it's gonna say did you mean did you mean to draw a triangle did you mean to draw a nose did you mean to draw a pyramid keep going and then it says oh did you mean to draw a popsicle did you mean to draw a chair did you mean to draw a bell I am trying to find the tree. Let me see if I scroll it to the side. There we go. Look, the website helped me draw a tree. And I can make it by selecting it. I have the select tool. I can make it as big or as small as I want. I can even turn it if I need to. All right, so I went to the park and I saw a lot of different kinds of trees. I'm making sort of a cloud shape with a tree trunk. And since I'm using that sparkly pencil, it says, did you mean to draw this? Yes, I did. And I can take select and move it down. All right, so I'm on my way to visiting the park. Let's color this in. I can click the fill tool and I can choose more colors, maybe brown for the bark. For some reason, it colored in the whole shape. I can fix that in just a minute. 
And let me go ahead and fill in this tree there. Okay. And since for some reason the auto draw wanted to be a little silly, I'm just going to go ahead and color right on top of it with my pencil tool. There we go. No one has to know that I accidentally made my tree brown. And then I'm going to finish it off with a walking path because I stayed on the path this summer so I wouldn't fall into any places I wasn't supposed to go. All right. And let me just finish up with coloring in my shirt, make the line skinny, I make gray pants, and I'm going to make a green, I'm using a lot of flu shirt. Oh, I should add some clouds so you can tell that I was outside this summer. So I'm going to switch to the sparkly crayon and I'm going to try to draw a cloud. Now, if you like your drawing, you can keep it. Or if you want some help, just click that do you mean and it'll change it. If it's too big, you go to the select tool and you make it smaller. This is one of those websites you have to play around with a little bit because there's so many different things you can do with this website. So I wanted us all to give it a little try because it helps. Oops, I made my cloud yellow. Undo. This is one of those websites where you just gotta have to try around with it. Let's try a shape. Oh, I made it too high up. Let me move it down and let's see if I can fill it in. Yep. And let's give it some sun rays. So this is what we worked on this week. We tried this online drawing website. This is great to use if you don't have any coloring uh, tools at home. Now that my picture is done, how am I going to share it with my teacher? Watch this. I'm going to take my cursor up to the top. I'm going to go down to where it says share, preparing to share. I'm going to hit the button copy link and it'll say link copied and I am going to take this to the Google Classroom. Where is the Google Classroom? Google Classroom was the other link on Clever. And you probably know where Google Classroom is because you're watching this video on Google Classroom. So I'm gonna go to my Google Classroom. I'm going to post it right underneath where it says I posted a new assignment, draw on autodraw.com. And you're gonna hit these two buttons. You're gonna hit at the same time, control V, control V. It's on your keyboard, control V. I'm gonna hit control V. I'm gonna hit the triangle and it is now posted underneath the assignment. And when you click on it, it takes it to the drawing and I'll be able to see what you did. If you forgot to add your name to it, it's okay because it's underneath the Google Classroom but something I probably should have showed you earlier is you can add text by hitting the text button. This is Oliver. And you can move the text too, just in case you want to include your name. So that is what we worked on this week. We made a drawing on autodraw.com and we practiced sharing it onto the Google Classroom by hitting Control V at the same time. That's gonna take some getting used to, but I want you to try your best. So if you've copied and pasted your link to the Google Classroom, you did an excellent job this week and you are done for the week. You have a whole week to complete the assignment. It is due on September 18th, Friday, September 18th. If you have any questions, you are welcome to ask a question right here on your Google Classroom. I need, I need help and I can reach out to you. All right, we will see what we can make in art next week. Thank you for stopping by.